Y'all, this interview with <laughs> Shannon Sharp and Monique, the fact that this girl was, well, she's a woman now, but when she was a child, she was in special education classes and nobody in her family knew because they were so individualized and she put it in a, a, a great little way and wrapped it up in a bow. But her parents were so checked out with their children or at least with her, because we all know in some families, especially with narcissistic parents, they'll treat some other children very good. They'll be the golden children and other ones they get the short end of the stick, right? The fact that their child was in special education classes and needed more educational support, but the parents didn't even care enough. And again, I know parents that are around me that are like that. And then you get this messaging of, well, don't say anything. Well, don't, don't say anything about it. Just let sleeping dogs lie. Just sweep it under the rug. Well, don't get her riled up. I am here for the exposition, exposing of mothers and fathers who are so, so worried and consumed with social media, with working, with climbing the corporate ladder, with their social life, with taking trips every weekend, then the well-being of their children. I'm going to go out and say it. Everybody knows who knows me that one of my ministries is children. I am called to serve and support children. That is one of my convictions. I think we only get one shot at parenthood doing it right until our kids are adult and their prefrontal cortex has fused and it has matured. And we don't, you know, we're going to try our hardest not to make sure they have to go to therapy for the things that we've done. And I think we need to start calling out the fact that these parents don't want to be parents, don't want to uh, sacrifice and put the time, attention, and energy that it requires for their children for a short period of time of their life, yet they want to lay down and pop out babies. Men and women, right? Moms and dads are like this. I am just so irritated by that. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. I always have been, always will be. And so when Monique said that, she tried to play it nice. She said, oh, we were so individualized as a family that nobody really said anything about the fact that I had special education classes because nobody knew because they didn't care enough. My parents was not at no PTA meetings. My parents was not at no conferences. My parents was not meeting the, the, the teachers who see your children more than they see them. Girl, watch the next, watch the next video. I know I'm gonna have some more to talk about on this. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about that.